Okay, with the Sakurajima update, they added a ton of building improvements. So let's see what those are. So they added a ton of glass buildings now, so we could actually build out of glass, which looks very, very good. Yep, and it's all of the usual pieces, right? So we have the glass roof, we have the glass walls, glass everything. Even have now, they added as well glass pillars. So you could add these pillars and they act like support walls, which is really good because now you have something that, you know, isn't literally just a wall. <laughs> you could do some, finally do some decorations. Yeah, not only that, you could also build the glass slanted roof on everything as if it were walls, which is really good. I'm talking about the pillars, right? So look at that. They made so many building improvements. So now it's actually just way more seamless to build these building pieces, which I really enjoy. Okay, we can also have a max of four bases. Or if you edit your game settings, you can have a max of 10, which is really good because now we have to have a base specifically for crude oil. Right. A major change to the way how building works is now you could see here we have the alignment mode change. You can actually snap to the two axes of various building pieces. You can see here, I can snap to this wall and it kind of gives you a little bit of alignment. Now, the thing is, it only allows you to do it in two axes, but you could also snap to, you don't only snap to just like the plain building pieces. You can also snap to other items, but like you can see here, it's, it's kind of hard to get it to snap, right? Like you have to be close enough to this, for example, but then it will snap to something else. Your mileage may vary, I suppose, but yeah, I mean, at least now we have some sort of alignment. It would be better if we had an actual grid to snap to. I'm sure that's probably going to come because they seem to be working hard on it. One more thing we could actually do now as well is we can connect from other building pieces and it's of course it's a little bit janky but we can actually now connect from other building pieces straight down two floors yeah previously you'd kind of have to like start from the foundation which was a you know very user unfriendly but now look at that you can make nice little pieces like this way easier very nice unfortunately you know what they didn't change so they did not change the support amount of a foundation so a foundation still only supports up to two tiles away in terms of building, right? So, for example, now I can do two tiles away from this foundation, but no more. I really wish they increased that because that kind of places a limit on the kind of designs you could do. Yeah, a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, it's fine, right? Remember now too, we could also build stairs down, right? Using the change building mode option, which is really good, right? Because, of course, you want to do designs like this where you put the staircase down. I can't actually build here. But for example, in certain situations, you can't just like build a floor down here you actually have to use the wall technique where you place a wall down first and then you can build the glass roof just takes a little bit of finagling right so just keep that in mind as well okay we can also now connect the metal walls they just snap to each other um they just snap to each other they just you were just doing it yes as i was saying they will now snap to each other so now you can actually have them be perfectly straight which is really nice Look at that. Look at that. Now, does it snap at a 90 degree angle? Hmm, not quite. Yeah, so it's still a little bit janky, but at least you could get perfectly straight. But yeah, if you need to, you know, turn a corner as you would to defend your entire base all at once, it's very strange how they did not make it snap at a 90 degree angle. Puck pair, what is this? Really? It just, it only snaps perfectly straight. All right, well, it's fine. You could, you could make, you could make a 90 degree angle, right? I, I believe in you probably. Although what kind of sucks is now you cannot place the walls no matter what on top of foundations, which a ton of people would use to kind of enhance their base. Yeah, you can't do that anymore. I don't, I don't know if somebody is going to be able to mod this into working again, but as of right now, as of the new update, you just can't do that. But yeah, some people had really beautiful bases like, uh, like Taridium on Reddit. He beautiful, beautiful base. And now I hope the base doesn't just like destroy itself. Probably not, right? But yeah, that's one thing we lost out on, which kind of sucks. So the mounted missile launchers and all the defensive weapons, they actually now work seamlessly. Yeah, so you can just assign pals or even not. Pals will actually just go to them. I shouldn't say seamlessly because Kativa actually just left the rocket launcher. I don't know why you're a Kativa. Stay on the rocket launcher. You don't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, at least now the actual rocket launchers do work properly and you can assign pals to them, which is really, really good. Yeah, and speaking of the defensive facilities, you could now use the monitoring stand to do fixed assignment management. So say, for example, I wanted this lalu to stay on the mounted missile launcher you just assign them here and look at that lalu is gonna 
very slowly get come across to the rocket launcher. Lalu, please. Lalu, now is not the time. Now was not the time to screw around. All right, thank you. She, yeah, okay. So he's defending. Thank God. What would we do without Lalu? And by the way, that UI actually works even for just throwing the power. So if, for example, I want to swap out the Lalu, so it doesn't actually work. You can't just like swap them out. What you have to do is you have to move them away first and then you can throw them on. Once you assign them to the mounted missile launcher, they will be permanently assigned. And you could actually check here in the assignment board. You see, it has Kativa here pinned. Now you could actually manually assign your pals to whatever you need them to be standing on, which is really, really good. And finally, we are going to have a problem, right? We have the oil, the crude oil extractor. We all love oil. Yeah, you're going to encounter a problem eventually, even if you have two of these electricity generating orzooks. Yeah, what's going to happen is that they actually just cannot produce enough electricity, even with two of them, to power the crude oil extractor. So eventually it's just going to stop. Yeah, so here it is. It's, it, it stopped, even though we have two orzooks on it. What you need, you really, really, really need this, by the way. This is probably one of the first things you should unlock if you are lacking ancient technology points is the large power generator. All right, so once you get built, your Orzooks should kind of prioritize it, but also the two of them can work on it on the same time, which is really good because now you only have to have one large power generator or one power generator in general, and they'll actually be able to produce enough electricity to power your crude oil extractor, right? especially because you need to have like multiple of these. It is so slow. I swear you get like one crude oil every like 90 seconds. <laughs> And given how much you actually need, I mean, you're going to have to speed this up. You're going to need to have multiple crude oil extractors, right? And you can see here, the power is actually going up finally. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And to make sure those large power gener generators have something to do, there is a spot that I found where there's actually three crude oil locations at once. You see one, two, three. I'll show you what it is on the map as well. So it's right over here, a little bit north of the beach of F Everlasting Summer. Yeah, make sure you get all your oil going. And I'm just going to have to delete all these goblins because they're very, 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 very annoying. Yeah, so that's it for the base building tips. Like this video if you liked it. Comment on why if you disliked it. And I'll see you guys soon for some more Power World content, alright? So, take care.